Learn more about Dr. Pepper's origins in this episode of Antique Bottle Stories. Dr. Pepper is the oldest major manufacturer of soft drink syrups in America. Beginning in 1885 in Waco, Texas at Morrison's Old Corner Drug Store, Charles Alderton, a young pharmacist working at Morrison's store, is believed to be the inventor. Alderton spent most of his time mixing up medicine for people of Waco, but in his spare time he liked to serve carbonated drinks at the soda fountain. He liked the way the drugstore smelled with all the fruit syrup flavors mixing in the air. He decided to try to create a drink that tasted like that smell. So he kept a journal and after trying many times, he came up with a mixture that he liked. Did you know that Dr. Pepper is a combination of 23 different flavors, including cola, cherry, licorice, almond, ginger, lemon, orange, molasses, and cardamom. To test his new drink, he offered it to the store owner, Morrison, who liked it. And after several more samples, they decided that they should go ahead and offer it to some of the fountain customers. And they liked it as well. Soon, customers began ordering this new drink by saying, shoot me a Waco. Morrison, the drugstore owner, is credited with naming the drink Dr. Pepper, but nobody knows why it was named that. The Dr. Pepper Museum in Waco apparently has collected over a dozen different stories on how the drink became known as Dr. Pepper, but nobody really knows. Eventually, other soda fountain operators in Waco began buying the syrup from Morrison to serve it at their shops. Pretty soon, the demand became too much and they could no longer produce it at their soda fountain to supply the demand. Robert S. Lazenby, a young beverage chemist, had also tasted the drink and he liked it. Alderton, the inventor, was more interested in pharmacy work at this point and he suggested that Morrison and Lazenby go ahead and develop it further. In 1891, Morrison and Lazenby formed the Artesian Manufacturing and Bottling Company, which later became the Dr. Pepper Company. This building is now the Dr. Pepper Museum. Lazenby and his son, J.B. O'Hara, moved the company from Waco to Dallas in 1923. In 1904, Lazenby and O'Hara introduced Dr. Pepper at the World's Fair Exposition in St. Louis. The expo actually debuted a few major ideas. For instance, hamburgers and frankfurters were served on buns for the very first time at this expo. And ice cream was served in cones for the very first time as well. Almost 20 million people attended this expo, so it was quite a boost for all the products involved. From 1910 to 1914, Dr. Pepper was identified with the slogan, King of Beverages. Then, in the 20s and 30s, Old Doc, a typical country doctor character with a monocle and a top hat, became Dr. Pepper's trademark. It was during this time that researchers discovered that sugar provided energy and that the average person experiences a drop in energy and blood sugar levels during a normal day around 10.30 a.m., 2.30 p.m., and 4.30 p.m. A contest was held for the creation of an ad using this new information. The winner won $25 for coming up with the advertising slogan, Drink a Bite to Eat at 10, 2, and 4. During World War II, many materials and products were rationed so the military could have all the supplies it needed to fight the war. Sugar became one of the key items that the U.S. government restricted due to its usefulness in creating explosives. Soft drink bottlers drastically had their sugar supplies cut back. Dr. Pepper's belief in soft drinks being an essential part of a person's daily diet, and armed with the studies about the energy levels dropping during the day, they took the matter to the rationing board, saying that Dr. Pepper and all soft drinks were essential to helping workers perform at peak performance. 
After hearing the evidence, the rationing board agreed and gave carbonated drink bottlers a quota for sugar, allowing them to stay in business and continue making their sugary drinks. My bottle is dated 1946 and has the 10 to 4 clock on the back. I also wanted to point out that the period after doctor in the logo was dropped in the 1950s. Apparently, looking around on the internet, I found these recipes from the 50s that encourage you to try Dr. Pepper hot. Like cider, I guess? I'd never heard of it before. Have you? I just thought that was interesting. <laughs> so, next time you're feeling really tired and less energetic than normal, remember to check the clock. Apparently, you might just need a Dr. Pepper. <laughs> That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching.